Hey, what's up everybody? It is Mr. Boylan back for some more thrilling chemistry. Excited! In this video, we are going to construct electron dot formulas to illustrate covalent bonds. Now, specifically, we are going to explain exceptions to the octet rule. And second, we are going to draw Lewis structures for molecules that are exceptions to the octet rule. Okay, so first it's important to recognize that you will have a few elements that will have fewer than eight electrons in their valence level, but they are still considered stable or legitimate Lewis valence electron dot representations. For example, hydrogen will only have two valence electrons. And as you can think about why, consider the Lewis valence electron dot structure for just an atom of hydrogen. It has a single valence electron. It only has one electron to share. And if it shares that electron with some other random element X, X, not a real element, kind of like a variable, just go with it. It can only have a max of two electrons. Completes its valence level, lower energy arrangement for hydrogen. No problemo. Beryllium will only have a maximum of four electrons. Again, think about its Lewis valence electron dot structure for the individual neutral atom. It can only share those two electrons to give a maximum of four total, if shared with two atoms each. Boron can have a maximum of six electrons. Again, coming back to the original neutral Lewis valence electron dot structure, bond it with three randos, maximum six. All right, and then we get to elements in periods three through seven, and those are often able to expand their octets and may have five or six electron pairs around their central atom. So 10 or 12 electrons. Just a spitting in the face of the octet rule. I am a rule breaker. Now, it's important to recognize this is only possible for elements in the third period through seventh because those elements have empty d orbitals to allow for additional electrons and create what we call the expanded octet. So let's think of a compound SF6. How is sulfur able to have six pairs of electrons? Well, turns out, as we think about the valence configuration for sulfur, we've got two electrons in the 3s and four electrons in the 3p for sulfur. However, there is an empty 3d set of orbitals not much higher in energy away. And so, a couple of those electrons that are, that are originally paired up can sort of scoot over to the empty 3D orbitals and allow for making up to six bonds. Let's take a look at OF6 and think about why this would not be possible. Ain't gonna happen. Why? Oxygen has a similar valence electron configuration. Two electrons in the 2S, four electrons in the 2P. However, there is no 2D set of orbitals that are right there for those electrons to jump into. And so keep in mind, this type of expanded octet is only gonna happen for those elements in periods three through seven. And that's it, just some fun exceptions to watch out for. Have a fantastic day of chemistry.